Come on. Come on. That there is going to be dinner. Yo! I'm frothing, man. Look at it. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Check it out. Big dog turd. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my noodle rod. Let's just dig in. What's going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. It has been a while. And I'll tell you what, it actually feels bloody good to be back on the scene. So for those of you that don't know, I've been down and out with a cooked back. So pretty much absolutely blew my back out surfing. It's taken me out of the fishing, having fun game for the last nearly three weeks now. But I'm back. My back is sitting at about 80%. And um, look, today we're going fishing. Just down here somewhere is our little boat. I don't know, over there somewhere is a little boat we're going to be going on. And um, I'm purely going out for a noodle rod session because that's what I've missed the most, man. I've missed putting a massive bend in that poxy little noodle, noodle rod. So um, it is a beautiful day. There's no wind. The sun just rose and um, I think we're going to be in for a good day. Fish or no fish, it's going to be so much better than laying in bed with a cooked back. So get ready, grab a beer, grab a coffee, do what you do. And um, I'll see you guys out in the boat when we're flicking lures. Hopefully we can do it catch a fish, catch it, and then cook it this afternoon all in one big session. So, see you guys out in the boat. Much love. Yo! I'm frothing, man. Look at it. <laughs> so nice. There's our vessel. All right, so it is absolutely bloody beautiful out here right now. There is not a breath of wind. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to try to be chasing a fish called a Tom Gull. It's similar to like a Bonito or a Tuna back in Australia, so, we're just going to be driving up and down the coast, looking for them bust, looking for them busting up on the surface, and then we're just going to be chucking little baby lures at them. Hopefully, we can get a couple. Go back this afternoon, start a big fire on the beach, cook them up. That's the plan. But look, we're going to get a fish before we do anything. But this is an absolutely bloody beautiful day, and the fizz levels are high right now. I'm frothing for this. Look at it. Oh, there's heaps of them. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! All right, we haven't even been out in the boat for like three minutes and um, we've seen a big, big bust up right now. I haven't even got my noodle rod ready. I've got another rod ready, but check this out. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. There's the noodle rod dancing in all its glory. This is the rod I'm going to use for the now. Just chucking a little minnow. It's straight in front of us there. The ocean is exploding with fish, man. Look at this. It is like just fish bump, 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 fully boiling on the surface. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Look at this, man. Oh my God. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's three boats on it already and there are fish launching out of the water. There's tuna. I saw a GT before. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! The sun isn't even really up yet. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm casting, I'm casting. Oh my god, dude! This is psycho! Oh my god, look at this! I can't even keep the camera. Here we go! Yeah, that's a fish on! Woo! <laughs> that was literally. Let's go. Look at these doggies. That is first cast. Boy. Singing me. That's what I'm talking about. Look at them over there. Oh, this is insane, dude. This is the most insane morning ever. Excuse the shit camera skills right now. I was not prepared. We're coming in now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's insane what's going on over here. How's that first cast? Didn't even get to hit the bloody. Yeah. Insane. Here she comes, boys. Yeah, bro, get him in. Yeah! That is what it's all about. First cast. 
<laughs> That's beautiful. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, right, let's go. There are hundreds of fish out here going crazy. Yeah. I just want to show you guys how crazy this is. We haven't even been out here for five minutes. Check this out. I hope you can see it. I really hope you can see it. This is what I live for. This whole entire ocean is full of fish right now. And he's just casted a lure in the day. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Look at that. Oh my God. This is what I live for right now. All right. I'm gonna put you guys in my head for a little bit of a POV view because this is just unbelievably amazing, beautiful nature right now. It's, it's not even real. <laughs> oh, I do. You got one? Yeah, baby, I just lost my lure, but that's all good. Oh. Go, get him! Look at this. He is getting absolutely schooled right now. I just snapped off my leader oh, and, I, and I lost my lure. Oh, fuck! Well, you lost it. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't, look at this, I can't. I got no lure. <laughs> this is insane. Actually, actually, I have goosebumps all over my body right now. <laughs> oh. I've got no lure, I've got no leader, I've got no nothing. Wow. <laughs> Talk about a way to start the bloody day. All right, so I've just, obviously I just casted that lure then in the chaos and the mayhem that it is this morning. I just, that lure just got pinged off, so I've retied the, the PE2 gear, but I've got the noodle rod out now. So um, I think the noodle rod is gonna get an absolute flogging from these fish, yeah. casting only a little baby 10 gram lure there. And um, this is the one and only noodle rod doggy, so it's gonna be fun if I can hook one, but we are up against a shitload of competition right now. I'll show you. It's actually so funny. It's like boat races right now. There's a boat over there, a boat here, two boats out the back there. There's another boat here. There's about six boats here in a circle somewhere, wherever they are. They are there was a big school of fish just there busting out, but as soon as the boats rock up, boom, the fish go down deep and it's nearly impossible to hook up to them. So you've got to be the first boat on the school. But I mean, look at these conditions, man. It is absolute dream boat. We've got a volcano in the background there. The boys are frothing. It is so nice out here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the noodle rod. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna go onto this guy's boat. Yes, the noodle rod. You still got yours? Oh my god, I can't stop this fish. Look at it. Oh my god. The new rod is getting its work out now. <laughs> Alright, the fish are back on. It's been a little bit quiet, but the fish have come back. I just got absolutely schooled on the noodle rod. I couldn't stop it, it just took me down deep and busted me off. But that's what you get when you use super light gear. We're racing this guy here. Boat races are happening, heaps of fish around up here. But the noodle rod is out of its class, man. It was bending like, <laughs> it was bending so much just then. I'm gonna fish with the bigger rod and then I'm gonna get the noodle rod back out there. But holy shit, man, it is so much fun when these fish surface, they're just up here. All right, there's like a massive school of fish, like a kilometer up the coast here. And we have every single boat around us racing to it. There's boats here, there's a boat there, there's two boats there, two boats there, and a massive school of fish, man. Check that out. That is like a football field of fish out there. Exploding the surface. My noodle rod isn't set up yet, but this is insane, dude. Look at it. Oh my God. Woo! I live for this shit right now. Can you guys see that? Incredible. Now that 
That's in the danger zone. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I missed it. No, I got it. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's so good. It is so much fun. Oh my God, man. As soon as it hits the water. This is unbelievable fishing. Come on, big boy. Come to Papa. <laughs> Come to Papa. Tongkol. Papa. Look at this. Hey, bro. It is truly insane out here, man. Once these fish start bump busting up on the surface, they're everywhere. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. So this is what the fish are actually eating. So our lures are a lot bigger than that, but that's what they're chasing. These little bait fish like this. And we're catching bullets to the sea like this thing. No wonder why I couldn't stop it on the noodle rod brass. These things are so echo. Oh, I'm not gonna get back out there. This thing we're going to do a little bit of a fire cook up later on. So epic. Bullets of the sea. Go baby, go baby. Oh my god. Look how many there are. Look we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boats. One big school of fish there, one big school of fish here. Oh my god. This is so fun dude. Look at that man. Oh, look at this! Oh my god, what a beautiful thing! Come on, baby! Ah, it's right behind my lure! Oh my god, this is insane! This is the best thing! Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah! Wee -hoo! Look at this, man! Oh my god! You're on? Everyone's on! Oh, this is the best! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh my god, look at him out there. This is the best fun man. Oh. Come under and under. Okay. Yes. I'll get him, I'll get him. Come on, beautiful. Yes. And there is another bullet from the sea. This is so fun, man. That thing was actually put up an amazing fight. We had tangled lines, everything was going on there. That's another beautiful fish. Oh my god. But look at this. They're spitting out of their mouths as we catch them. That is what they're coming up and destroying on the surface. I'll show you again. These little bait fish. Man, it's so much fun. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh my god, look at this dude. Look at that. That is like a football field of fish. That's insane, dude. Go, cast! Watch this. How long is it gonna take? One! Look at this! One, two, one, two. Hurry up, man. What are you. Yeah. <laughs> That's just insane. Give me a look. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oosh. There's another beautiful one. Don't drop it this time, alright? <laughs> How good are they? They're like speed demons, man. Alright, let's go! Let's get another one! You <laughs> <laughs> still got it, huh? It's so good, man. You should feel the energy on the water right now. There's probably about 15 boats all scattered around waiting for these fish to surface. 
and the energy, the energy in the water is amazing. There's people yelling and screaming and like lines going over other lines. It's just so funny, man. It's like, it's just a day of laughter. And then when the fish emerge, it's a racing, it's just a race to the school of fish. It is so fun, man. This is probably the lure that's working the best. I just, I just had to change it because the bib got snapped off. I have no idea how, but I'm using these Storm Slow Runs. This is a 90S, so this is like a 30 gram lure and it is working pretty much every, I think you can literally cast anything at these fish and they'll catch a fish butt because they are just in full feed mode. One over there, just jump. Look at this, look at this. It is so good, man. Watch this, I'm gonna leave you guys recording. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a fish. And we've got heads up, we're heads, we've got heads up here because we're the first boat. So there's a boat there, there's another boat there, and this is a big school of fish right here. All right, check this out. Dude, this is the best of the best of the best. Ready? Oh my God, you're about to kill someone. Push. Oh no, the fish are gone down. Come on. Ah, see they go deep within like a second of the boat rocking up. But they're here, they're under the boat. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, extreme fishing man. But as soon as the boat rocks up, boom, the fish go under. Oh my god man. Look at this, we're back in the brown chocolate water. All right, so we had to peel in because we were running out of fuel. We've literally got like a little dribble of fuel left in the boat. So we've had to come in, but that was a sick morning. Here we go, we're about to run onto the shore, look. Boom. Just like that, we are home. And we have an esky full of beautiful fresh fish. So, so that means Oh, I'm gonna break my back. That means they're going to do a little bit of a cook up down the beach, doggies. Wow, that's heavy. All right, I'll see you guys down the beach. We're gonna cook some mad food. Yeah, that was such a fun morning, man. Holy moly. Look at this. <laughs> see us down the beach when we start a fire. Yo! <laughs> Have a go at this bloody thing. I actually nearly stood on that. That there is gonna be dinner. Oh. <coughs> Whoa. You have got no idea how bad that smells. Look at the maggots all over my finger. That blowfish is full of maggots. That is so crook, man. I am so hungry right now. I've eaten no food all day. We've just come back from that insane fishing session and now I've got maggots all over my finger. Bro, that stinks. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hand. I'll be back. All right. That was absolutely the crookest thing. My hand still smells like absolute, well it just smells like dead meat. It stinks. Anyway, that was a hell day's fishing. I am starving right now. A little bit put off now because my hand stinks. I never, ever, ever dry reach like that, but that smelled really shit. Anyway, we have two bags. I've got a backpack on my back here. What's inside this backpack is a fire, a st <laughs> is a fire starter that you've never seen before on this channel. So this is exciting, but What's in this bag is even more exciting. It's full of ice and the freshest fish ever. So what I'm gonna do, I reckon I'm just gonna start a fire right here. This is like an epic little, I don't know, there's like a little bit of a cave. Endless and endless amounts of firewood. So we'll probably perch up here, start a fire. We're gonna have one bang and sunset soon. Things are looking pretty bloody good, but for now, Let's get a big fire going. We want a nice big bed of coals because I'm gonna cook something that is, it is one of my favorite ways to cook fish. You guys have seen this before, but not like this. So, um, all right, let's get a fire going and we'll um, start cooking because this boy is hungry. Righto, here's our first section of fire. 
Look at this, there is no shortage of wood around here, doggies. Literally don't even have to move, man. But that's good because right now we're actually rushing. And um, that's why, well, this is just me. I don't, I don't think about time. I don't really think about a lot. So it's my fault that I'm rushing right now, but that's why we're gonna start this fire a way that you've never seen before. All right, we've moved all the bags out of the way. So this is what we're doing. We're using a little bit of Zippo fluid and we're using a lighter this time. We're not doing any fun, fun start a fire yourself ways because, well, I light this fire and I'll tell you why. It's for a bloody good reason. Let's not be scared with this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna blow myself up here. Don't do this at home, kids. Fill her up, fill her up. Yeah, baby. Woo! Look at that, just like that, we've got a fire going. That was easy, eh? All right, that is gonna go boom. All right, so while that fire, while that fire kicks off, that is the easiest fire by fire, by, that is the easiest fire by far that we've ever started. Um, so when I went home, I just went home very quickly, dropped off my fishing rods, chucked a little bit of that beautiful fresh fish on ice, and um, I made my way down to this beach, and my chick's like, yo, are you gonna have enough time before tomorrow morning? I'm like, what's tomorrow morning? She's like, We've got to get on the flight to the island. I'm like, ha, idiot. This is how bad I am with time and remembering things. So tomorrow morning at three o'clock in the morning or four o'clock, there goes my memory again. We need to go jump on an airplane and we're going to go to a couple of islands off of Indonesia, which is going to be absolutely bloody epic. So that's why we're starting the fire this way because, um, yeah, doggy, some dude checking me out. Uh, because um, I'm rushing for time. I gotta go pack all my fishing gear, pack all my camera gear up, and we're gonna go spend a couple of weeks or a week or two on some of these dope little remote islands. So get ready for that, it's gonna be sick. All right, ah, we need a chopping board. And this thing, yeah, this thing looks pretty bloody good. So when I went home, I went to, the, I went to our garden, I grabbed some banana leaves. So we've got, I just need one for now. One big beautiful banana leaf. That's all we need for this second. Look at this, mate. All right, that's our banana leaf. Here's the good old trusty knife. She's a little bit rusty. I haven't used it for a while. We've been down and out with a broken back, but that fire's putting out some serious heat. All right, so this is what we're doing. Check this out. It doesn't come much fresher than that. Look at that. All right, so. This is all I took from all the fish we caught today because Andy wanted to feed his family, the captain wanted to feed his family, and this is all I need because tomorrow morning we're leaving to the island. So I'm gonna cook this fish up one of my favorite ways. It's gonna be bloody beautiful. And that is seriously like three hours old. We only caught that two and a half hours, three hours ago. So it's bloody good. Got a little bit of ice in that bag. So the way that we're gonna cook this fish is, I don't know, it's one of my, Lately, it's one of my favorite ways to cook fish. So this is like some kind of a sauce. I just grabbed it from home as well. It's like a, look at that stuff there. It's like a, um, almost like a curry paste, but it's not. So you use like, what I used to make this, I put um, coconut oil, pretty much any spices you can find. You just load it up, mix it up together. Um, then you use curry powder, a little bit of flour if you want to get it. I'll put a little bit of flour in there so it's just a little bit thick. Um, it is absolutely beautiful with fish. So we're going to use that with this fish and it is going to be, it's going to be good. That is so good, man. That fire is so good right now. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to rip a slab. I'm just gonna rip a slab off of this bad boy here. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be neat. Let's just dig in. This is like the freshest fish. Full jungle style, don't worry about being neat. We're in the bush right now. Look at that, mate. That is one 
beautiful fillet of fresh tongkol. They call them tongkol in Indonesia. Absolutely bloody beautiful. We'll chuck that back on ice. All right, so all we're gonna do with this, that section down the center there, that's, that's blood meat. So you wanna get rid of that because that does not taste any good. So if you come in on like an angle, come in an angle on that side, you will pretty much discard that blood meat straight away. Jesus Christ, my knife's not the bloody, my knife's not looking very, I gotta need to sharpen this up before we go to the islands, but that's the blood meat. No one needs that. Ooh, that guy's probably standing over there. All right, so we're just gonna cut this into little cubes about this big by that big, beautiful little cubes, and then I'll show you what we're doing the next step. Trust me, do this at home, you'll thank me. Okay, so we've pretty much got the beautiful fish cut into chunks like that. Look at this, it's beautiful, it's fresh, it's cold. It does not come any better than this, man. So, just pile it all up. This is the best thing about cooking in the bush. There is no rules, mate. Grab that sauce, you can make, you just use pretty much anything. Drop it on there. We'll use all of it. Give it a good mix up. You wanna mix him up. <laughs> if you could smell this right now, here comes a dog. That dog would probably love that skin. Two dogs. We'll make a little bit of a, I don't know, just about, probably about that much in there. Roll him up. And that is one packet done. We're gonna make little toothpicks later so we can squish that in together, squish that in together so no coals go in it. And that there goes straight into the coals and um, it's bloody good, trust me. It is bloody good. So I'm just gonna continue making these little rolls. And um, look, we're in for a bloody treat. Right, uh, this is gonna make the perfect little toothpicks, chopsticks, this is like the perfect bamboo. So let's get rid of this chopping board. I don't need that anymore. Just cut that off there too. Get out of here. All right, this is gonna make the little bomber chopsticks. Not chopsticks, like toothpicks. Wave it through, wave it through. That there will just stop the ash, all the shit going into it. So it's a complete sealed little tube. This is an absolute tube of goodness right now. Boom, one done. So we've got four of these. There's actually quite a lot of fish in that little packet there. So I'll finish off these and then um, we'll attend to the fire. Right, I have a look at this doggies. This is looking really, really, really good right now. So that's what we're left with. Four beautiful little sausage rolls, full of the freshest fish ever. A little bit of a homemade syrup inside. And um, this is a really, really nice way to eat fish. So what we're gonna do now, come straight over here. This fire is looking, well, I don't think it gets any better than this if you wanna cook, really. That's looking absolutely superb. So we're just gonna, <sighs> that is so hot, man. All right. I'm just going to transfer our little darlings onto here. Ow. Look at that. You don't even really have to cover them up. That'll cook pretty quickly. So we'll just let it cook on that side and we'll flip them all. Bang, bang, bang. And it'll be done in about 15 to 20. No, not even, man. That'll be done in five to 10. 10 minutes max. That's bloody hot. But I mean, have a look at this. I've missed doing this. I've missed you guys. <whistles> Love it.
Oh, look at this, man. If you could smell what I'm cooking here right now, you would, you'd, you'd be drooling. I'm drooling, man. This is the first thing I'm gonna eat all day. I've been fish, I've been up since three o'clock this morning. So I am bloody starving. This is gonna taste bloody amazing. And today, today was so fun, dude. My energy levels are probably through the roof. I don't know, I haven't seen the footage, but um, dude, I was having such a fun time. For like three hours or two hours, it went dead. There was like no fish. There was small little, small tonkol, but it was nothing. And then as soon as the tide went from dead high and the tide started going out, that's when them big waves of fish were just coming through, drilling the surface. That was so fun, man. All the energy levels in each boat, everyone's screaming, yelling, laughing at each other. It's like a, it literally, it's like a drag race. Who gets to the fish first? Because as soon as your lure hits the water or as soon as they hear the boat coming, all the fish go down deep and you've got no chance. You need to be the first boat there flicking lures, man. Ugh, that was a sick day. And there's no better way to top it off than eating that epic food. It's nearly done, nearly time to turn it. So, um, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy to be back. Happy to have my back. It's probably about 80% good, so. Whew, we're back on, doggies. And also, for those people who haven't or don't know yet, the online shop is finally live. It's finally, you can finally go grab your Yeah Doggies merch at fieldayshop.com. So, it took a bloody long time to get it going, but it's finally going. We've got some big ideas and big things coming in the future, so I'm bloody happy. I'm excited it's going. So if you guys want to check it out, it's at fieldayshop.com. And um, look, it's pretty, we're getting some really, really good feedback from people who have already bought shirts. The Yeah Doggies fishing shirt, that's nearly gone. Um, the hats, we're getting really, really good reviews on the hats. This is one of them. We've got another one. So thank you to everyone who's bought something so far. In the future, we've got some banging shit coming. So. Um, very, very exciting times. And for those people who bought something, thank you so much for your support. It means the absolute bloody world. This fish is about time. I reckon we're gonna turn it right now. Let's flip it. Oh, look at this, man. Righto, the time has come. It's the moment of truth. Does it fall apart when you flip it? Hell no. All right, that's a really good sign. So when you squeeze them, even though they're bloody hot, it should be nice and firm. And if it's firm, it means pretty much your fish is cooked inside. If it's soggy, give it a couple more minutes. But that is absolutely bloody, oh, bloody beautiful. Look at that. Wait, that's hot. Wait, wait. Bro, have a go at this. All right, that side will probably need about two or three minutes and we are gonna tuck into this. I'm excited, dude. That's pumping out some serious heat or jish. Hey, hey, hey. You boy's so hot, man. Suck. All right, here we go. Check this out. This is the best. Best tasting fish. Ah, oh, it's hot. Look at it. Admire it. Smell it. Oh my god. It is absolutely bloody beautiful. It's gonna be a little bit hot, so I'm not gonna chuck it in my big gob right now, but we'll open them all up. Take our little toothpicks out, they work like a dream. Look at this. This is the best way of cooking, man. You don't need a bloody kitchen. But if you do have a kitchen, you should definitely try cooking fish like this. If you can get your hands on banana leaves, that's all you need is banana leaves and some fresh fish. Look at it. <laughs> Righto, here we go. It is time to try this beautiful bloody fish. I was just looking at it and I'm like, it actually looks like four big dog shits just sitting on a log. My big barley dog nards. Anyway, it's going to taste a lot better than that. This is what it looks like. Beautiful. Freshly caught fish. Man, this was literally two and a half hours ago swimming in the ocean. Here we go. Me. It never disappoints, man. Oh, it's just like a flavor, it's just like a, a flavor boxing match in your mouth. That is so good. Me. Wow. 
This is what it's all about. I'm actually really bloody excited because after I eat this, excuse me, after I eat this, I've got to literally leg it home, pack my bags, pack all my fishing stuff, and like I said, we're going on some new islands. So um, islands that I've never been before, they look epic, epic on the map. So that is it from me, doggies. Definitely try this recipe if you're at home one day. If you get fresh fish, if you can get banana leaves, give it a crack, it's beautiful. And um, I'm just gonna sit here now with my my food that looks like little bits of dog shit and um, it actually tastes really, really bloody good. My fire's still pumping over there in the corner. Sun's about to set and I'm one happy bloke. Thanks for watching, much love, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you smash this here to check out the online shop. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos and I'll see you guys from a brand new island very, very soon. Much love, doggies. Yo! Haha, <laughs> check it out. Big dog turd. Oh. oh, it's so good, but absolutely amazing. Slippery little suckers, but bloody good. Mm.